This is a lesson on multiplying with multiples of 10. So when you're multiplying by multiples of 10, and those are numbers that end in zero, first you multiply the non-zero digits together and then put as many zeros as you see in the factors at the end of your product. Now this might seem wordy, but once you see the examples, you're gonna think, wow, this is easy. So, <clears throat> for example, to find 4 times 200, this is what you would do. You would multiply 4 times 2, those are the non-zero digits, and that equals 8. Then, you put the two zeros after the 8, because 200 has two zeros. So, 4 times 200 equals 800. Right? 4 times 2 equals 8. Those two zeros go right after. Here we've got another example. 3 times 60. So we go 3 times 6 equals 18. 60 has one zero in it. So 3 times 60 equals 180. See how I just added that one zero after? That's basically the concept of the lesson. Now, this is one thing that you need to remember. If there is a zero in both factors, your product needs to have the zeros from both of those factors. So here's an example. If I have 40 times 60, so there's zeros in both factors, I start the same as above. 4 times 6 equals 24. Then, since 40 has a zero and 60 has a zero, uh, two zeros go after 24. Two zeros. So 40 times 60 equals 2,400. See those two zeros? There's one two here. So we put one two onto the um, product here. Okay, so that's the, that's the concept. It's very, very simple and straightforward. Um, if you make a mistake, you're not going to notice until it's corrected, probably. So you're going to have to double check to make sure that you have added the same number of zeros onto here. Now keep in mind, sometimes this number is going to be a zero, right? In the case of uh, 2 times 5, that equals 10. So if we had 2 times 5 here, then we'd actually, or wait, that 2 times 5, so 20 times 50, I guess. <clears throat> so you'd actually end up with three zeros, not two in that case. You're going to see that in the practice, so pay attention. But this is the practice. There's six questions, but they go quickly. So what you need to do is pause the video, complete this, and then uh, play again to make sure that you've got it right. Okay, so the first one here, now that you've finished, we've got... Um, 3 times 6, 3 times 6, so 3 times 6 is 18, and you really need to know your basic multiplication facts now. Uh, so I've got 3 times 6 equals 18, there's one zero after that, so I would get 180. B, we've got 3 times 6 again, so that's 18, and I did that on purpose. And then we've got two zeros in the factors. So it's 1,800. And C, we've got 3 times 6 is 18. And there are three zeros after, so you guessed it, three zeros go after our product. So those are simple. Do you notice how they're almost the same? They just have one extra zero each time. Now on the bottom, um, this is what I was talking about before with, with uh, more than one zero in the factors. So we've got two times three, and two times three is six. Now I've got one zero here in the 20, so I add a zero, and then I've got another zero in the 30, so it ends up being 600. Over here on E, we've got five times four. Now five times four is 20. Now this is what I was talking about just above. Uh, so 20 is 5 times 4. Now I still need to add uh, two zeros for the 500 and one zero for the 40. 
So you'll notice that even though the factors have one, two, three zeros, our answer has one, two, three, four zeros because this part is the four times five. And that's where if you get it wrong, that's where you're going to probably get caught. Or if you don't know your basic multiplication skills. And at the end here, we've got another one similar to this. We've got eight times five. Eight times five is 40. And then we've got two zeros here, so we need to put one, two. So again, we've got two zeros in our factors, but our product has three zeros because right here is eight times five. Okay, so your assignment is page 82 to 83, numbers one, two, five, seven, nine, eleven.